Today we're going to make some amazing uh, chocolate granola bars and uh, the thing that's really nice about these bars is that they have a real steady glycemic index. I use uh, brown rice syrup and orange juice and molasses in the granola which already has a lot of pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds and almonds as well as quinoa for protein. It's one of the higher protein granolas on the market. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and turn these in, turn this already healthy granola uh, into some really nice granola bars. What I also like to add is this lecithin, which has a pineapple flavor. I usually add about a cup of this into the granola itself. And we're using again to hold the bars together more brown rice syrup, which I like to just bring up to a boil. And that's the only thing that you really need to heat uh, to make these bars. What you're going to do is you're going to take the chocolate, add it to the granola, and then add the heated brown rice syrup to that mixture. Mix that really thoroughly and put it into either buttered or oiled or parchment uh, baking tray um, and press it down and then you let them cool down and um, cut them into squares and enjoy them. So let's get started. Uh, what, what we've done is we've taken some brown rice syrup and we have it on the stove over here and um, you don't want to bring it up to the point to where it's too hot but you need it to be just about just about starting to bubble and you can get down close to it and as soon as it starts to bubble we'll bring it over so at this point, once it starts to get nice and hot, I'm going to put a little vanilla into it. A little organic vanilla. Just a tablespoon of vanilla. Okay, and that's just about simmering. So I'm going to go ahead and add my chocolate to my granola. Really simple. Basically, you put your chocolate and granola together. And this is three pounds of Grandma Dave's granola and two cups of organic chocolate. And I just put one whole jar, which is one pound, five ounces uh, of gluten-free brown rice syrup into here with about a tablespoon of the vanilla just up to about 185 degrees if you want to be fanatical about temperature but I just do it right until it starts to simmer so I just mix that around a little bit the chocolate with the granola and we're going to take about a cup and this is personal preference. Not everybody likes to use um, this product. This is more of a nutritional addition, but I like it because um, some of some of you might recognize it. But I like it because it has a really pineapple and coconut quality. It gives these chocolate bars kind of a real pineapple flavor to it. And I also use it in my smoothie. If you're wondering where you've seen it before, and you've seen my smoothie video, which I definitely recommend checking out, um, this is a key ingredient in that as well. So basically you mix these three ingredients together, the lecithin and the chocolate chips with the granola. And I have my vanilla. And my brown rice syrup right here. And this makes like a little well. Put a good bit in there and then go around the outside. And just get a really good mix. And the hot brown rice syrup is going to go ahead and melt your chocolate a little bit, which is okay. That's what you want. It's going to help the bars set up. And you want a really good, even mix of this brown rice syrup. You can see that it's coating the granola and making it more moist. The lecithin is kind of falling to the bottom with the quinoa and coming up again, getting wet as it gets warm. 
And we want all that chocolate to melt with the brown rice syrup. Create one nice even mix. See how it's getting darker and darker. And as soon as we turn over the bottom and we see that it's all dry, then we're going to go ahead and flip it into this pan. So now you can see that it's really chocolatey and evenly mixed. It's wet all the way through. The lecithin is completely moistened. So now we can go ahead. and get an even, it's a little challenging to get an even disbursement. What I do is mound it up in the middle first. As it falls, guide it. And work it into the corners. And these are really thick. You obviously don't have to make your granola bars this thick. And you can cut them any size you want to cut them. I like making them pretty square. And then what you can do is you put another piece of parchment paper on top to help press down. And they look thick now, but you'd be surprised how they flatten out once you push them down. So all that chocolate melted in with the brown rice syrup. Flatten out the middle a little bit more than you think because you tend to get a big lump in the middle. So then what I like to do is take your parchment. And put it over. I'm going to rinse my hands off. And then you go ahead and push it down to create a flat surface for your granola bar. And you can do one of two things. You can roll them with a rolling pin or flatten a, put another uh, sheet tray on top. Press them nice and flat, push down the outsides if you have anything sticking up. And then we let that sit for about an hour. And you can either let it uh, put it in the refrigerator for an hour or let it sit out in a cool place in your kitchen. Um, best thing to do is pop it in the fridge for about an hour and uh, then we'll tell you what to do next. Okay, so just go ahead and uh, once the granola bars have been in the refrigerator for about an hour, go ahead and remove them and just run a knife along the edge of the tray. It's just so that it releases the bars to the parchment. And then what I like to do, just to make it easier, is just to go ahead and take another board. And invert it over there. Then you have your bars on your board. One nice piece. And now you can cut it really any way you like. And, um, one of the things that I like to do at this point is to go ahead and take a little more of the pina colada flavored pineapple coconut lecithin and sprinkle it just a little bit on the outside. And this is totally optional, uh, but it's something that does give it a really nice smell before you eat it and then in addition a really great flavor. So that what I like to do is I just eyeball it and cut it in half this way. Depending on the size that you like, you can do whatever you want. I'm just gonna do a 
give you an idea. And then just be careful to get the parchment. Since I made these so thick, I also cut them relatively small. And I'll give you an example of how to cut some larger ones. So make them the Grande version. <clears throat> These are more trail running size, nice chunks of granola bar, and these are more, a little bit smaller for your nugget size, more trail mix snack type thing. So yeah, great for school lunches, really good low glycemic index. You see the oats in there, um, the lecithin on the outside, chocolate definitely helps the kids eat the granola bars. and. Um, these are some of the healthiest granola bars that I've definitely ever seen that I could recommend. So I hope you enjoy them. And here they are. Grandma Day's chocolate granola bars. Super healthy style. Hope you like them. <laughs>